Ben, it took uh, uh, Jim Calhoun 27 years to get to his first Final Four. Mm -hmm. It's taken Kevin Alley two to get to his first Final Four. Here's the moment when I fell in love with Kevin Alley in their last game. Take a look. Instagram.com slash Ricky Stra. Uh, I, uh, I love that, man. I love his intensity. I love all that. Uh, Shabazz Napier, though, Ben, was astounding, uh, playing his ass off. But only not only that, just hitting big shot after big shot after big shot. Uh, I mean, he reminds me mean, the most obvious comparison. That Kemba people, Walker. I mean, it just couldn't be more obvious. <laughs> Why? It's because he's the point guard. The guy has the ball little, nearly all the time, just taking charge of the game and making, you know, and he's one of those guys who, not particularly in this game, but in, and not against Iowa State either. I don't remember which game it was, but a guy who, like, you know, he won't score in the first half. And you think you got him under control, and then all of a sudden he gets, you know, he'll he was get, scoring like crazy in this. Right, game. right. I'm saying he'll get 16 points in the second half, or in some of them might be he'll make, you know, sort of way Nick Johnson did in Arizona, he'd make 12 straight free throws because he gets the ball and he drives and he can't stop him. You yep. foul him and he makes every, you know, those. That, I mean, obviously he's why they can win the national championship. He's in a sense why because their odds are the longest. They're a very smart bet to win the national championship. A smart really? bet. I don't you think. Can? That, yeah, because the odds are so long and they can, like they have the best point guard and who has and the best odds Florida obviously Flo but who's Florida second? has the worst I mean the Florida is the favorite yeah uh, Florida Florida Wisconsin Florida Kentucky, Kentucky Wisconsin based off the rankings and, obviously. Then, sure. and then UConn sure but also based on the how the matchups are you know because Kentucky and Florida could meet in the finals mm -hmm. which I would hate to see actually um, Shabazz Napier had 25 points you think he gets they drafted? scored like 40. You, th you think he gets drafted? Well, he didn't score 40. Do you think he gets drafted in the second round? You think a team takes a chance on him? Yeah, like, I would take wrong. a chance on him. I mean, I don't know how tall he is. I haven't, you know, it's, it's... Would you rather take a chance? This is a good one. Shabazz Napier or Frank Kaminsky from Wisconsin? Well, Frank Kaminsky, I think, can play in the uh, NBA. I think he can, too. Yeah, I mean, he's got really skilled inside moves, and he can shoot. And when you're that tall and you can shoot from 18 feet, you can play in the NBA. Frank Kaminsky obviously needs to gain weight. Before he's in a, you know, because he's too. He already looks pretty big, though. Doesn't no, he's he? Does he not? He's gonna get pushed around. He'll get pushed around. But I mean, that that said, you can get pushed around. You still shoot jumpers. And here's what you can do: you can gain weight. Like you can gain. You, you can gain, gain weight. A professional can put 30 pounds on him. I hate to sound like someone from CBS, but they they like totally complimented his footwork over and over. But he has tremendous footwork. Yeah. That was like the biggest strength. He could go inside and go outside, whatever. Yeah, Everything I, ran through him. I don't know. I haven't looked at a draft. For, I mean, I look at them all the time to see where UCLA players might go and whether that means they'll come out. Yeah. And it turns out they all will. And so I don't know where Kaminsky fits into that. But whether it's a, whether he's a late first round pick or a second round pick or an undrafted I would free think agent, second. he strikes me as a guy who can play just because he can shoot and he's that tall and he's skilled inside, even though his finesse won't play sure. nearly as well in the NBA. Uh, Michigan State had 16 turnovers. Yeah. To me, that was like that. That's the key of the game right there. But here, part of the low scoring nature of the game was that Michigan State kept having possessions where they couldn't even get a shot off. Well, because the defense was really good. Yeah, with the, the defense UConn. was good. He got out. I mean, it would appear that Ali outcoached Izzo. Um, but that said, you defensively, had, that I mean, that was the other. But key you had guys. one player just show up. And in a game where you only Shabazz scored, over how many Adrian points they ended up with? Sixty, I guess they ended up with. You know, he scored twenty-five of their sixty points. I mean, that's a you know, if it's an NBA game, he scores forty-five. And Bill you know. Wright contributed as well, obviously.